welcome to Community Conversations. I am Queen Miss Ebony J, and today you are watching and listening to 1230 The Buzz Girl Talk Station on 101.5, 101.1 The Wiz, and 100.3 Cincy's R&B Station. Now, here on Community Conversations, we'll be come to talk to nonprofits about the great things that they're doing to make an impact in the community. And today, I'm super excited because I have Miss Shanita Edwards, the queen behind Queen City Kitchen. How you doing, beautiful? I'm great. How are you, sweetie? I'm good. So glad to have you here to talk about what you all have going on. Tell me, how long have you all been around? So, Queen City Kitchen was founded in 1942, and they have been in business and running for many, many, many years. They started out with one soup kitchen in a pantry, and we have now expanded. We have one over the Rhine, and we also have one in Wanted Hills. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. So, tell me about the services that you all offer because clearly you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You have two locations. Yes. So, we offer, um, uh, we're a sit down dining family style soup kitchen. And then we also offer take home groceries. And what's special about our, um, our pantry, when I first started about five years ago, I switched it over to a choice pantry. So our clients actually get to walk in. It's like a mini Kroger's and walk in and select what it is that they want off the shelves. The reasoning that I started that because I noticed that that clients, we used to pre-made bags and clients went and we would give them the pre-made bags and then they would go out back and take out what it is that they did not need and it wasn't that they weren't you know appreciative some might take it as they're not being appreciative but it was things that their family did not enjoy to eat so with the choice pantry they can actually come in and select what it is that they know for a fact that their families are going to enjoy and it saves waste on our part so we're saving you know funds with them not just tossing something out because once they take it we can't take it back and they get to enjoy what they like to eat I like that and so since you all have made that change have you all seen a rise in the amount of people that come or what's been the difference Yes, I definitely, my clients tell me all the time that they love that we switched it over to Choice Pantry. They can actually go through and see what it is, you know, check the bread out. A lot of people seem to think just because people are down on their luck and they have to, you know, go to an outreach service to obtain food that they'll take anything. And that's not the case with 90% of our clients. They actually want decent food, fresh vegetables, fresh produce, fresh meat, and we give all of that. And that's what I'm most excited about. Now, homelessness is really big and it seems to be growing, especially since the pandemic has happened. So have you all been able to still accommodate more or less since the pandemic? Or tell us about how the pandemic has had an effect on the services that you all have been offering. Well, I am pleased to say Queen City Kitchen has not shut down anytime during the pandemic. I take my head off to my staff. We are very small. Um, I have a total of 10 staff between both locations. We have not shut down not once. We have shut down a couple of times just to do deep cleaning, you know, because we you, we want to make sure that we're following the CDC at all times and that right. our services have been up and running. Our clients still need us. Our numbers have increased drastically, especially with the take-home groceries. So I know for a fact that us shutting any time down would have definitely um, affected our clients in some sort of way. And I want to add that 75% of our clients are not homeless. We do get that 25% in. Most of our clients, I did a survey on all of our clients back in 2019. Most of our clients work or are on fixed incomes, and they just add us to, into their monthly regimen of needing those extra stable groceries. Yes, which is amazing because, I mean, let's be real. Food is costing more, but these checks, these we ain't getting raises for real, okay? Exactly. It's not It's not meeting up somewhere. It's not. It's not at all. And so the, to still have a, 
an outlet, a resource for people to be able to come and get services and get groceries is amazing. Now tell me, is there any stipulation? Um, how do you qualify to be able to obtain the services? I'm glad you brought that up. So we are one in few. I'm not going to say one and only, but we are one in few. We are not zip code restricted. We are not county restricted. And that's kind of why our numbers stay up so high because anyone can come to us. If you are hungry, if you are in need of groceries, hygiene items. I added this year with during the pandemic, we added a clothing pantry. If you're in need of any of those things, you can come to Queen City Kitchen and we will take care of you. They obtained, we have outside services, Humana, Anthem, Free Store Food Bank that comes in. If any of our clients need assistance with food stamp sign up, um, IDs, birth certificates. So we really try to make it easier for our clients to access definitely in the Wanda Hills area because it's a food desert out there. We no longer have that Kroger's, so it okay. kind of helps out. Yeah. yeah. Most definitely. Um, so again, you said you're in Walnut Hills and where else? Over the Rhine on Vine Street. So we're at 2631 Gilbert Avenue. And then we're at 1620 Vine Street, which is at Vine Street and Gilbert. I mean, I'm Vine Street, I'm sorry. And what is that? What would be the cross street? Liberty. I'm okay. sorry. Okay, Vine and Liberty. Yes. Now, if you're just tuning in, I am here talking with Shanita Edwards, who is the executive director of Queen City Chicken. Um, she's been doing this thing and loving it, providing resources and services to those in the community that is in need. This is 1230 The Buzz, your talk station on 101.5, 101.1 The Wiz, and 100.3 Cincy's R&B station. I am Queen Miss Ebony J. And you know, we always want to make sure that we are giving you the information about things that's happening right here in the Queen City. And Queen City Kitchen is serving the people. They're making sure that you're, actually, it sounds like a one-stop shop over there. Miss Shanita Edwards, if someone's just tuning in, tell them again, you say you help with the birth certificates and you know, you named a lot. Right, so our services that we currently offer, we have a clothing pantry, a choice food pantry. We have a dine-in sitting area where they can come in and obtain hot meals several times a week. We offer breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We have outside services from Free Store Food Bank that assist all of our clients with um, food stamp sign up, medical sign up. Humana Anthem comes in if our clients need medical coverage. We do mammograms um, yearly that come up during the pandemic. We had yeah. COVID vaccinations and COVID testing on our site. So we try do a lot like I said to make it for our clients that maybe just can't get out we 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 offer services to vets we do a lot with the small amount of employees that I do have and an abundance amount of volunteers because without our volunteers we couldn't make this happen as you can see Queen City Chick Kitchen is very, very unique. Um, the services they provide is not like anywhere else, almost again, like your one-stop shop. They make sure that if you need something that they are helping you with it and they've recently added the clothing piece. Now, I know that there's a lot of things that you all may need right now. Do you all have a great need at the moment? Can we make donations? Yes, you can always make donations at queencitykitchen.org. You can also make donations in person, which is 2631 Gilbert Avenue, or we have Cash App, which is Queen City Kitchen, or they can call us and we can do it over the phone. We take non-perishables. We take, if, even if you're just cleaning, you're, you're purging and you're cleaning out your closet, we take all of that stuff, household items. What might be trash to you might be treasure to one of our clients. Yes. When it comes to... Um, you know, the pandemic and just, I think this is like a new life, a new way that we're living. Um, how would you say that the pandemic did impact the, the now things that um, Queen City Kitchen um, is doing? Because you all have been growing each year and it's just, it's, it's truly yeah, amazing. We, we have, I'm, I'm, I'm still pleased with what we have going on. I know we have been growing over, you know, the few years we've added since the, I spoke with you guys a couple years back, but this was before pre-COVID and we've added a lot of services. I can, we're in dire need of 
volunteers, people that actually just want to come in. We call them weekend warriors. Come in on the weekends, bring the food in with the family. It could be a team building experience and prepare the food inside of our commercial kitchen, prepare it and serve it to our clients. We're in need of volunteers for that. We're in need for our younger generation taking over the torch of our older generation that's actually still trying to volunteer in, in these small nonprofits. It's time for us to take over. That's kind of why I took over as an executive director. We need to start doing things for our community besides just hitting these clubs and hitting these streets every weekend come out and serve your community bring the kids make it a family thing we do this once yes. a month. we do this twice a month i mean i know if you're listening and you're maybe be a teacher or maybe you have a program make community service something that is a part of the requirement and make sure that once a month or again whatever time you fit feel free feel fit that you make sure the babies come and give back because this is extremely important i mean like you said as they are getting older you know they, they can't do it the way they used to do it so it's time to pass the torch on it really is because we have volunteers that are still coming in their 70s and their 80s and it melts my heart but at the same time i really wish some of our young generation would step up I, my kids are seven and nine and i started out working at the drop-in center homeless shelter and i would take them in with me and they would help serve to let them know you know this could be us yes but god and i do the set right i do the same thing at at queen city kitchen to let them know i take them in the pantry i let them see the clients i let them help serve to see that this yes. can be us i love it i want to ask you this miss shanita if someone is listening right now and they need assistance or you know they've heard something that you said and they want to be a part they need assistance how do they sign up is this one of those walk-in places or do they have to register before they come? They can actually get right on the website at queencitykitchen.org to sign up to volunteer. The calendar is there. It'll let you know what open dates. If you're confused, you can always submit um, an inquiry form and it'll come straight to me and I'll get back with you. I can help you if you don't know how to do it online. If you just call and you can set up, but it's all on our website and that is queencitykitchen.org. We also have a Facebook page that is Queen City Kitchen. I, if you inbox, I reply immediately. So you can get us several ways, several yes. ways. Yes. But this is not a drop-in center. You need to go on the website and register before you come by. Right. You need to register as far as volunteering. Now, are you saying as far as clients dropping in? Yes. If I'm hungry and I need services, do I just show up and get the things that I need? Oh, yes. To, they, can, to make they, they just drop. Yeah. They, no appointment is necessary. If you show up on a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, Miss Tia got you. Whatever it is that you need. And I just want to add this. So... <laughs> We went to a funeral on Wednesday, which was right next door to, because the soup kitchen is right next door to Walker's Funeral Home on Gilbert. I saw one of my clients there. We are closed on Wednesday. He told me that he, he got a new job. He showed me the paperwork and said that he needed some help with his lunch for the week. I politely walked out of the funeral, walked next door, and made sure that he had what it was that he needed to get him through the week. Yes. That's the type of love that we show at Queen City Kitchen. They come in as clients, but they leave out as family. Yes, I love it. And so you don't have to feel no type of way about coming to get assistance. We understand that it's hard right now. Queen City Kitchen has been created to make sure that you don't feel alone during this time. They have the resources that you need, whether that's clothes, whether that's food, you need lunch, just need to stop in for dinner. They have your back to make sure that you get what you need. Now, I did see that, that you all was awarded Cincinnati's Best Nonprofit in 2020 during this pandemic. So, yes, I mean, girl. Y'all not playing <laughs> right now, okay? No, we are. I am actually trying to expand. I see so much great things for Queen City Kitchen in the, in the future. I would like a medical clinic, a bigger building. There's so much I have in store um, and it's it, it's coming soon. I love it. I love it. How are you all funded? We are actually um, 
by donations and grants. We get no state funding. We get no um, government, federal, none of that. We are all the straight donations that they can do on our website, citykitchen.org. And then we also, we, we look to see what grants we qualify and we apply for them. They're hit and miss. Sometimes we get them, sometimes we don't. Yeah. But, you know, we're still standing by the grace of God. So we're doing something right. Period. How many individuals <laughs> would you say you all have serviced this year? So this year, when I checked the numbers as of the end of last month, we had serviced about 67,000 clients between both locations. Now, oh, our over the run location is a smaller location, and those numbers are st still great. We're not even through the year, so I can only imagine what we'll do to, you know, close out the year. Yes. And, you know, the holidays are coming. It's getting cold. So, of course, you know, they're going to be coming through. They're going to need assistance because Gats Electric going to be going up. They don't care about us mm -hmm. at all. <laughs> for real. So thank you so much again they, for taking the time They sure out. don't. <laughs> they really don't. So rude. They, we got to pay them regardless. <laughs> But you want, I tell I tell my husband all the time, I will pay Duke before I pay rent. Duke don't play no games, baby. At all. Everybody else, <laughs> you can tell them, you know, I'm having a hard time right now. I need a couple more. They don't care what you're going on in your household. I'm going to need my money today. I'm going to need that. Off. Yeah, I'm going to need that. <laughs> <laughs> so no matter well, thank what. Thank you so much. No problem. I really, I, I really enjoy this. I, I I like giving out the information because even though we've been in business for so long, there's still a lot of people that don't even know we exist or know that we're right there. I had no idea. I'm so glad that I made a post on Facebook and someone tagged you because this is, I mean, as soon as I saw Queen City Kitchen, I said, yeah, she doing it for our city. And this is amazing. And then just doing more research mm -hmm. and seeing how you all have mm -hmm. grown and all the great things you all have going on. I'm like, we had to bring you on here. Thank you so much. Thank you. No problem. Tell us again before you go the website we need to go to if you want to make a donation, if you want to volunteer, how should we do it? Okay, you can go to queencitykitchen.org. Um, all the information is there. You can sign up to be a volunteer. You can make donations um, right from our website via PayPal. If you're looking to see what services we offer and what days we offer at each location, everything is on that website. As I stated, we'll be doing our Thanksgiving boxes coming up in November. So if you would like to be, inter if you if you want more information on that, you can also find that on our website about how you can get involved, how you can donate, where you can drop it off because we have set drop off dates. Okay. Clients, if you're in need of any service, we are there the hub station every tuesday wednesday thursday saturday and sunday breakfast lunch and dinner if you need take home groceries we are there we start at 10 a.m for clients and we go until 1 p.m at the wanting hills location over the rhine they're there tuesday thursday saturday and sunday 12 to 1 i love it thank you again miss edwards you keep doing the thing if you need something thank else you. something else coming up you let me know okay beautiful Thank you. And get some of the radio personalities. Tell them y'all need a team building experience. Come and see us. See how it's done. It's really fun. It's fun. Okay. I'm going to, hey, I'm okay. about to call the boss right now. Let them know. Okay. I'm, I'm, holding yes. okay I'm holding you through that. Yes. Okay. I'm holding you through that. Yes. Okay. You hold me to it. Thank you so much. Once again, this is 1230 The Buzz, your talk station on 101.5, 101.1 The Wiz, and 100.3 Century's RB Station. Queen City Kitchen, making a difference right here in the Queen City for you. If you need any assistance or help, make sure you go to queencitykitchen.org. This is Community Conversations. I am Queen Miss Ebony J. See you next week.